Hello, members of the Pride, and welcome to my time at Sandrock! Yes! Been waiting for this for months, if not years, uh, ever since they sort of teased us in my time at Porsche that they might do a sequel and do it in Sandrock. I have been stupidly excited about getting this game. So, uh, now that they have finally dropped the NDA requirement for those of us who do the streaming type thing, uh, I can now play this game and play it for you. Now, the only thing I have played in this game before is the demo that was released months and months ago. I have not played anything since. I have deliberately kept myself in the dark. Please do not spoil anything for me. Um, I know a lot of people, they think they're helping by trying to tell me, Hey, Lion, you can do XYZ and you'll get PDQ. Please don't. So, just, you know, if I ask for help, I will address the camera and say, okay, guys, I need help. Help me. Uh, otherwise, please just let me play the game. I'm so excited about this game. I love it. So anyway, <clears throat> let us go ahead and start a new game. Um, and just a, a, a word to the, uh, to, to the uh, aware, um, the loading screens are pretty slow. So just a heads up. All right. Hello, Max. Guess what? Your name is no longer Max. Your name is Lion. Uh, I will be playing a male as per usual. I mean, I'm a guy. I kind of relate better to guys. It's just a thing. Uh, okay. Uh, face shape. Do I care about really the face shape? Although it's kind of cool that we have all these options, but not really. Uh, skin, you know, me pale face. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a pale face kind of feller. So, uh, and then the main, whoop, yeah, main skin, yeah, we'll just, that's fine. Uh, hair, uh, ooh, I kind of like a little bit of, a little bit of gray and a little bit of blonde there. Um, black, eh, maybe brown. Uh, well, that's sort of red. Well, actually, you know what, a dark red. You know what, we could be a dark red. My mic is a little bit high. Give me one sec. How's that? A little bit better? Uh, okay, so let me... Uh, yeah, the the, 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 the red hair. I kind of like the red hair. Uh, so I think I'm just going to keep it like that. Maybe give it a little bit of darkness, but that's it. Um, and then highlight color. You know, I kind of like a little bit of... Well, you know what? Eh, eh. I was going to say a little, bit of, a little bit of gray, but maybe not. You know what? I, maybe... I think I like the darker better. Let's just do that. All right, and then eyebrows, do we care? Not really. Uh, eyes, do we care? Yes, we want the color. Oh, but I can have all these things. Uh, do I want to be cat eye? I mean, I am lion. <laughs> Why not? We'll be, we'll be, we'll be cat eye. And, and we'll make them a little, a little yellow. Because after all, lion, you know, maybe a little, a little deep like that. <laughs> Uh, and then pupil color, yeah, the rest of that's fine. I don't, I'm sure there's a lot of people who like the whole spacing thing. I think that's unnecessary. I don't look that closely. Most people don't. Uh, ears. I like them the way they are. Uh, the nose. It's a, you know, a little bit, maybe, a, a, maybe that's a little bit pointed, maybe. Maybe just, like, shrink that a little bit, but otherwise we're good. Mouth. Uh, your mouth seems fine to me. Uh, facial hair. Ooh, now do we want to have facial hair? Uh, yeah. Right now, these are the only options I have? Yeah. I think we're gonna go... I think we're gonna go smooth here. Uh, alright, face tattoo. Do I want a face tattoo? I mean, we, we could always do, like, the typical, you know, eye scar. I like to do that sometimes. Um... Uh, maybe I could be like, you know, little, 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 little kittenish, you know, maybe a little, maybe a little native-ish. Maybe I can be a little Indian-ish. Maybe I can be straight up Indian, you know, but there's a lot of, th oh, I mean, well, you know, I kind of like that, you know, maybe like a little, just like a little bit of, of imperfection. Meh, I like it normal. Let's just do normal. Eyeshadow. I am not feeling the eyeshadow. I'm not feeling it. Blush! 
I think his cheeks seem like a healthy glow. Lipstick! Yeah, I'm not a girl. Uh, nor, nor do I, um, you know, what, what, uh, nor do I genderfy myself in that regard. I'm male. Uh, okay, so we want, well, no, we don't want uh, spring year, we want winter, 27. Really make your birthday day 27 of winter, yeah. Here we go. Hey, care for, how you doing today? When placing items in your own furniture and other decorations can be placed in multiple positions. And it can be customized to look different, okay. That's interesting. I kind of like this uh, this little graphic down in the the lower right with the little little dog dog cat creature chasing the what appears to be a sentient fluff ball, like a tribble or something. It's a desert tribble. Oh, here we go. It's the loading screen. The developing alpha version does not represent the final quality. There we go. Wanted builder. That's me. Ooh. That's about right. You know, I go outside and I kind of do that. Ah, sunlight. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I mean, Sandrock. Hi, Mion. I love that she's got a sign with my name on it. I think that's awesome. Hi there. You must be Lion. I'm Mion, the other new builder. I just got here yesterday. Nice to meet you. I'm here to take you to the Commerce Guild. The retiring builder and the commissioner are there. Let's not keep them waiting. Follow me. And then I learned how to do uh, WASD and looking around. Okay. Now I am going to mostly stay to the uh, to the uh, to the plot right now, um, and I'll kind of do my my major exploration later. Because uh, y'all know me, I want to I want to immediately go and explore everything in the game, but I don't want to derail us too much yet. So hello. Howdy there, Lion! I'm Jan, president of Sandra Commerce Guild. Pleased to meet your acquaintance, yada, yada, yada. Mini, mini, thank you for the follow. Squeaker says thank you. I'll be overseeing you and me on, but don't think of me as your boss. Think of me as more of a buddy that's your supervisor. This here's Mason. He's retiring. Hence, you know, the whole reason for you being here and whatnot. But you knew that already. What am I talking about? Anyway, see that workshop there on the other side of the tracks? It used to be Mason's, but now it's all yours. Ain't that swell? Just think of all the great stuff you'll be able to make in there for our Commerce Guild. And for other people, too, I guess. Anyway, I am now speechless. Could have fooled me. Mason, as the established builder of Sandrock, why don't you say a couple of inspiring words? Uh, well, let's not get too friendly. I mean, I am on my way out of here. <clears throat> my workshop is now yours, Lion. You may find it run down and dilapidated, ill-equipped, and it certainly is those things. But you may also find that the place has a lot of heart. I believe that will suffice. Uh, may you bring Telesis to the land now. If you'll excuse me, I'm off to the blue moon. 
There are only so many more days I'll be able to get my yak milk, uh, yak mel milk on. Friendly fellow. He always was a bit awkward, mind you. Anyway, back to business. Before you start, I'll need to tell y'all a bit about how we work here in the desert. I know you already hold builder licenses, but things are a bit different here from what you are used to. To start with, there aren't too many trees around, so don't go swinging your axe around too much. It's frowned upon, anyway. But there are plenty of scrap metal and driftwood that you can break apart. For that, you'll need something called a pick hammer. It's a pick with a hammer, just as the name implies. We use it not only because it's useful for breaking up rocks, but it's also durable enough to break up the old world scrap all around here. Easy stuff to make as well. You just need to find some stone and wood and craft it at your work table. Why don't you try, t uh, you two try making one for yourselves? You'll be needing it right away, anyway. When you're done, just come find me in the Commerce Guild. But, you know, no rush. See you... there. True, it is pretty easy to make. We should be able to find the stone and wood we need by just searching through junk piles on the ground near our workshops. Picking things up is fun. Hey, let's go to your workshop and see what kind of machines Mason left for you. Let me take you there. I'm already pretty acquainted around here, so I can make sure you don't get lost. I like Neon. If, if I'm going to have a, like a, a friendly rival, I like Neon. I think they did a good job of kind of making Neon that... She is my rival, but at the same time, she's not a, a jerk about it. You know, she's she's a rival, a friendly rival. Not even like a frenemy. I mean, she's a, a genuine, like, a rival that you can, you know, at the beginning of the day, you can high-five her, you know? Yeah, she, exactly. She's not Higgins. Hey, uh, Akresh, how's it going today? <clears throat> hmm, kind of slim pickings. But at least he did leave you a work table. But that should be all you need to make a pick hammer. You know, <laughs> Sandrock is still well known across all the free cities for being directly on top of an old world metropolis. They say some old scraps even end up here on the surface when the wind blows. Once we have our pick hammers, we can smash them up and get all the resources we need. Also, I kind of wanted to say something to you privately. Um, you see... The reason I came to Sandrock is because it's not doing so well for itself. Everybody in the Free Cities knows that, but I didn't hesitate to signing on that contract. I thought it'd be the best way for me to make a difference in the world. I bet you feel the same way, so let's make a promise. Builder to builder. Let's take Sandrock back to its glory days during our time here. Let's, let's give it our all, okay? Whew. Well, I'm off to make my pick hammer. See you around. Yeah, I do like Mion. She's pretty cool. See you later, Mion. So, <clears throat> forgive my, my rough voice this morning. I'm a little hoarse. So, usually I do my, uh, my voices a little bit... Uh, oh, wait. Do I hold it down or do I... Wait, is that a... Okay, I'm trying to figure out how I just did that. Was that a toggle? Was it just a, like, button press and I can let go? Ah. All right. Okay, good to know. And so I just needed those two. We'll go ahead and boing. All right, so wooden scrap. I need, a, I need an axe for that. Thick rope. Grab that. Thank you very much. And then, oh, stone axe. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Uh, dilapidated furnace. And then, so I should be able to just come over here and just chop that. Yeah. You can use an axe to break down a wooden scrap. Yep. And then just... Oh. Well, I need diagrams first? No, I'm... Oh. 
oh, it was that. I, that's what I was interacting with. I'm like, wait a minute. Why, why is that doing that? <laughs> gotcha. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm on top of it. I'm on top of it. Uh, ooh, I can... Whoa. So a simple button press will pick it up? Hmm. Don't know if I like that. But okay, interact. The filter bar lets you sort through items more easily. Uh, the list shows all the items you can make. Right now, there's just one. The number on the bottom shows how many there you already have, how many you can make, and the amount required by the current task. Okay, let, let me try that again. The number on the bottom shows how many I already have. What there. How many you can make and how much is required. Maybe that's how much you can make, how much is required. I think it's I think it's like this. How many you can make, how much uh, and how much is required. Click here to make the item. Gotcha. Love those uh, those stats. And and I do like the fact that that the stuff you make actually can improve with quality. I do like that. And different stuff that you that you have can, depending on how good you make it, can improve its quality and its difference. I love that. I absolutely love that. So a special hammer that can not only dig for ores in the ruins, but also be used to turn debris into usable materials. Oh. It's considered a medium exhibit. Click on blank space to exit. Interesting. Okay, so that puts us back here. Gotcha. So this is everything. This is specialized. This, I, can't, I think this is like quest items. Oh. Wait, so you can, you can directly improve your, the stuff that you have just like right here. So you don't have to like look on this. I like that. Okay, so it's an actual, there's an upgradable option there. Okay, that, it makes sense, but it's nice to see that that's, that's actually a thing. Uh, okay, so I have my, okay, so it looks like the run option is toggle, uh, toggleable. Can I, can I loot any of this? Can I hit it? Oh. Cool train. Oh, hi, Coco. Who are you? Interact. Who are you? A stray pig-nosed owl rest nests in cacti. Ooh. Wait, no. I want to be your buddy. Can I? Oh, okay. Maybe I can. Maybe I can be your friend later. I do know that, like all across here, there's lots of li uh, there's lots of little chests and treasure chests and things. So, we, we, we will be looting soon. <laughs> All right. Okay, so here's the, yeah, the Commerce Guild Commission Board. Of course. Uh, okay, so we have wooden sticks, uh, glass, and thin thread. Uh, sticks seem like that would be really easy. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just, bam, I'm going to, oh, I can't. The cake is a lie. The cake is a lie. An assortment of documents and papers. There's an award plaque. Builder of the Decade, Jan. At the bottom, the signature of the Commerce Guild Commissioner reads, Jan. The word Commissioner is scratched out and replaced with President. I see. Wanted dead or alive. If you see this man, do, do not engage. Report immediately to the Civil Corps. Any information leading to the arrest and conviction of this vile perpetrator will be rewarded handsomely in the sum of 100,000 galls? You're a dead man. <laughs> and then we got the guild where he sells the very... Yeah, okay. Um, do we have... Ooh, okay. Guild guide. Oh. Oh, I like this. So if you if you forget how to like if they during the tutorial you just mess up, you can just read that. Okay, good, 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 good. I like that. Uh, that's a nice quality of life thing to add. 
Ooh, 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 chest, mine. Treasure boxes are hidden all over. Don't forget to recycle the empty boxes. <gasps> really now. All right. A list of some of the greatest commerce guild accomplishments across the free cities. Bridges, amusement parks, city generators, giant robot. Huh? Giant robots? <laughs> Please tell me I can build a giant robot at some point. <laughs> These books have lists of builders registered in the free cities. They track back almost all the way to the Age of Darkness. Oh, wait. Another thing. This bookcase is nearly barren. Aren't commerce guilds supposed to have more books? One title jumps out. How to make friends and influence people. Something that I'm sure Jan is probably not so great at. Uh, okay. Oh, you're down. Well, you were up here. I was going to save. Uh, oh, here we go. The card reads, a symbol dedicated to the integrity of Sandrock Commerce Guild. Maybe whatever was here before is out being cleaned. Okay, yeah, that was that. I meant to do that. Lots of unopened packages all addressed to Jan. Hmm. Yeah, okay. This is... Okay, we already... Yeah, we already did that. Okay. Cool. Where did Jan go? Hey! Jan! Dude! Quit, quit, quit moving! Now that's a nice looking pick hammer! It is the soul of a desert builder! Never you... Never lose it! But if you do, now you know how to build another one, I suppose. Next, let me tell you about the recycler. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to do like a Don Knotts sort of-ish voice for him, but... <coughs> I'm a little hoarse this morning. <laughs> it's another indispensable tool for a desert builder. It's the machine that's synonymous with make-do. Once it's made, you can put the scrap you collect with your pick hammer into the recycler to get all kinds of useful items. You can construct the recycler on your assembly station. Here's the diagram for it, just look it up in your workshop handbook. You can also open it on the control panel at the assembly station. Uh, don't worry so much, you'll figure it out. Come back to the Commerce Guild when you finish. Bye now! Okay, we can do that. I am all about that life. Oh, tab hold down. What, what now? What, who, what, who? Hold on. I clicked the thing before I was ready. Am I Trigger or Mr. Head? Good question. All right, uh, go, wait, go. Wait, what? Use the action wheel to quickly save. Enter photo. Oh, gotcha. Now use the pick hammer to break down. Right, I knew that. Oh. Oh, I get it. Okay, quick save. All right, that's a, that's kind of a curious use for the tab button. Kind of an odd use for the tab button. I would have thought that, uh... Huh. Anyway. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, okay. Some things need to be gathered. Some things need to be hit. Got it. Alright, I do like that that's tabbable and not, um... Oh, no, that need that. Alright. Um, I do like that some of these things are, are like, it, it's a toggle, not a, uh, not just a constant spam clicking. That's okay and all, but I really prefer some things to just be, you know, let me just grab it and gather it. Um, all right, grab this. All right, so I'm just, right now I'm just sort of grabbing... 
tools and such. Do I? Oh, sand grass. Oh, okay. That so this is. Can I get this and nobody's gonna be upset? I know we can't cut trees. We've got some things. Let's see what what else I may need, if anything. Oh, can I collect this? No. Kicking trees can give you some good stuff sometimes. Okay. Well, uh, oh, I don't want to chop it, so let's put it like on no hands. Kick. Bark feathers. All right. Good to know. Nothing else will drop. Thank you for that. I appreciate it when the game tells you, hey, stupid, stop kicking. I do, I do appreciate that. Okay, ball cactus. Do you have a problem? I don't want to upset anybody. I know it's an issue. I know some of these things you can't, you can't do anything with. But just sometimes the only way you find out is the hard way, so... Okay, <clears throat> this is your assembly station handbook. It keeps track of all the larger machines you can make. Uh, you can turn off the tutorial in the menu. Actually, I'm good. Thank you. Um, hi, Inara. Hey, how's it going? Um, did this finally release? It, it did for those of us who are beta testers and for backers uh, who, who backed at a certain level. Um, they've released the, the, the non-disclosure agreement for us, so now we can stream it and show off kind of to the world and get some hype build up. So that's what we're doing. <clears throat> yeah, yes. Thank you, Holy. It does. Glenda, hello. All right. Open a diagram to check what you'll need to build this machine, how to get the materials. So just just like the um uh just just like when we uh with the with my time at Porsche and then click here to start making the assembly. Okay. So, when you start assembling, put all your construction parts on the assembly uh, platform to complete it. You can go to the handbook next to the assembly station to cancel and get your items back. So, I can just immediately go and, and just work whatever I happen to have on me. You don't have it highlighted. That's nice. I like that. Uh, stone trough. How many do I need? I can make two. I need two. Okay. Uh, two. There you go. I need grinding saws. Uh, I... Need to, I need some, what is that? Some, no, that is stone. Oh, did I just use up my stone? Maybe I just used up my stone. Wait, no, that's not it. Stone troughs. There we go. Uh, where is my, okay, my time's down in the lower bottom there. Uh, I need rock. I see something over here. Can I, can I, okay, I sand grass. That's a monument. I can't affect it. I can do the. Oh, that's a wood pile. I need some kind of rock. Oh, how to fight. In the ruins and in the wilds, monsters are everywhere. Practice your fighting skills outside or by sparring with people in town. You can fight barehanded, but it's always better to have a weapon. You can switch weapons in, uh, in combat, but not during duels. Use the dodge roll to avoid damage. What's the dodge roll? Some weapons and items have special abilities. Equip a tool from your quick bar to try them out. Everyone uh, starts a battle with toughness points. When someone has toughness points remaining, they won't flinch with hit and will take less damage. All attacks deal toughness damage, some more than others. If you avoid damage for a while, your toughness points will slowly recover. Reaching zero toughness points will make you broken uh, for a while. If you're broken, you will flinch, take extra damage. After a while, you get it back. Uh, when an enemy is covered in red light, it means they have super armor. They will not flinch no matter what you hit them with. Ooh. Okay, good info to have. Wait, nope. Uh, I need this. I don't want to get in any fights right now because I don't have any... I don't really have any 
combat weapons or anything. Yeah, I, I've been waiting a long time for this. Oh, there we go. There we are. And I also, I kind of like that... I, I like the mechanic of how they give the the item to you. Um, they don't just... You, you don't just immediately get it, although you do immediately vacuum it up. So it's... Ooh, I'll take that. Hello, Mr. Sandworm. Mr. Sandworm. Give me your uh, body. I don't know. I got nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and do this because there's no fixing this. We're just going to have to break it and get new. There we go. I need grinding saws. I can do two. I will craft two. All right. Out of this. And then crap. Oh, grinding saws. There we go. Collected. Sand absorption speed. Wait, sand absorption speed? Q capacity 10, fuel capacity, right. Sand absorption speed? That's odd. Sand absorption speed. I know you can like clean, I know like you have to clean sand up around, the, uh, around everything. So I know it's a cleaning mechanic, but how does that work with a recycler? Hello, Jan. Hey, there you are. No, no need to show me the recycler. I'm sure it's fine. You have a builder's license, right? Besides, what's the worst it could do? Explode and burn our town to the ground? Ha 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 The main thing to take away here is that from now on, whenever you have questions, you can just consult your workshop handbook and definitely do not ask me anything related to building whatsoever. Yes, I'll be far, far too busy to handle your questions. So now that you have the basic knowledge of a desert builder, why don't you mosey on over to City Hall and register your workshop? Uh, normally, the mayor handles registrations, but uh, Minister Matilda is taking over administrative type stuff for her at the moment. Where's the mayor? <clears throat> oh, you hadn't heard? She's off trying to plan things in the Eufaula Desert. <laughs> Didn't no one ever tell her dirt the plants need dirt to grow? <laughs> uh, say... She's been gone for a while. I sure hope she's still alive. Oh, uh, by the way, I found a couple of extra diagrams I was probably going to throw away anyway. Uh, but, uh, why would I do that when I could just recycle them? Uh, to you. Uh, no need to thank me. Uh, consider it as a new employee bonus thingy. Anyway, hurry over to City Hall and have Matilda register your workshop. While you're out, I'll be preparing a job for you. Hurry back when you're registered. All right, so I do, in fact, want to... I mean, it's kind of getting late in the day, so I hope I can still do that. Hopefully she has not gone to sleep. So we're just... Oh, yeah, see, yeah, there's trash everywhere. I could be picking that up. Probably should. Oh, hello. Katori. Oh. Halt! Who goes there? Oh, it's you, the new builder. I thought you were one of Logan's gang. Ha! <laughs> Silly me. You look nothing like an outlaw. <laughs> and your arms are so skinny. Do you even know how to defend yourself? You know, the desert isn't kind to the fragile. Hmm. It is decided. I, the Magnificent Pen, protector of Sandrock, as of five seconds ago, have taken it upon myself to offer you a combat lesson. Uh, well, I mean, I kind of need to talk to... But okay, sounds good. <laughs> Splendid. Let's go. All right, uh, sure, we'll track it, why not? 
You know why I came all the way out here to serve and protect. Because this place builds toughness. If you ain't tough, the desert will chew you up and spit you out. People here need to train often to build that toughness. Now, before we spar, you can go pick a weapon from over there. It doesn't really matter which. It's all the same to me. When you're ready, come at me. Okay, so I seem to remember that I was kind of fond of the stone and stone stone sword and shield. Um, I mean, this, these were really fast. I also kind of liked the big stone sword, just because it's got that that punch. And the stone spear was always a little weird. It always felt a little odd to me. I seem to remember kind of liking this one. You know what? I think I'll start with the stone sword. Because, um, uh, I mean, the fact is I am I do have a tendency to sort of strike and fade, strike and fade. So let's try, let's try the old strike and fade method here. Combat training with pen. Come, come and attack me. I won't fight back. Let me see what you can do. All right. And pow! Bam! Is that all you got? Don't tell me you skip leg day. Okay, you can swing this weapon around. We're all very proud of you. But can you break through my defense? When anyone takes damage, they lose toughness points. How do you know, though? Your enemy's defenses are broken. Take this chance to go for a combo attack. Okay, so... I don't seem to... Oh, okay, it's... it's Gotcha. It's... Whoa, it's like that. Eh, whoa, okay. Strike and fade, strike and fade. Strike and fade. Eh, strike and fade. And... Oh, oh, I, it would help if... Oh, okay, my endurance is low. Okay, so note to self. Oh! Eh. Eh, I am really bad at this. Okay. Eh, eh. Eh, boy, you have to be facing. All right. Enough. I grow weary of this. Time to end this. I mean, you could have just held up your hand and say, stop. That's enough. Well done. <laughs> and thus concludes the segment of my combat course titled Never Mess With Pen. I hope you have learned something. I sure had fun teaching it. Bourbon, thank you for continuing your uh, your sub. The first thing I would do if I were you is go back to your work table and craft a weapon. But that's just me. Farewell, skinny arms. You know, I'm beginning to notice that I don't think I can do the, the whole strike and fade tactic that I was planning. Why can't I do? Oh, it's... Damn it, Pen! I... You made me late. I was... I could have did it. Get, yeah. Fine. Hello, RVO. How you doing today? Ah, you're a new builder, aren't you? Charmed, to be sure. I run them by the stairs. The only general store in town. Uh, nevertheless, I think you'll find our prices are hard to beat. Oh, that's right. Matilda asked me to help you out, being new and all. And uh, I thought maybe... Uh, I thought of something you... I think you're going to love. For the next seven days... Everything in my store will be 50% off. Just for you, of course. Uh, okay. Th thank you. I don't know how much I'm actually going to use of that, but, you know, I'm, I'm down with it. Uh, and so that everything here is going to be 50% off. It, but it's closed. Uh, Alright. Since we have kind of have a little... I guess we have a little bit of time. I guess we can take a little bit of time to explore a little bit. Ooh, jerky. Mine. Uh, oh, clean up, okay, gotcha. All right, I'm pretty sure, let's see, I kind of have to remind myself of where everything was. There were like a few little hidden things here and there that kind of take, ah, shoot, take a, a little bit of finesse to get 
if I can. Okay. Well, fooey. Okay. Maybe... Maybe they changed it. Maybe I can't do it like that anymore. I don't know. I know there are, like, little secret things hidden all over the place. We'll get to them eventually. All right. Goals. Very good. Uh, that's not an egg. Oh, but that, however... Did I see... Oh, is that a... Oh, that's right. I can... Okay, that's going to take some getting used to. Because that wasn't the case back in the day. Uh, okay, that's an egg. I can't pick it. I thought for a second that was manure. And there used to be... Like, a way... Oh, oh! Hardcore parkour! Hardcore parkour! Come on! Hardcore parkour! Hardcore... Oh, fine. <sighs> fine! I don't want to do hardcore parkour anyway. Trying to tell me I need rest. Acting like this is somehow... You know, like real life and people need to sleep or something. Mm. Alright, slap that down. Yes, I know I have an upcoming appointment. Thank you. This is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have and add more if you need to. When you add fuel, you can choose what kind of fuel you want to use. Some kind of fuels last longer than others. Right. Okay. So we interact. And uh, let's see. Fuel. Okay, I need to remember... Okay, no, that's the upgrade. All right, I... I have to remember how to do this. Okay, um... We want to turn... Yeah, because the dregs... I guess this is our... Oh, no, this is... Wait, is this our fuel? Why don't I just autofill? I'm afraid to do that, though. What if I just plus? And just do that. And that, because I don't... Oh, well, then again, I do have power stones. So maybe... Maybe I do want a power stone. How about confirm? Does that fill it? And then maybe... Power stone? Okay, for some reason, I can't do anything with power stone. Oh, I can do that. Interesting. Okay, I don't want to use my stone. Not, not right at the moment. Uh, okay, so let's... Okay, I want to recycle... I have eight wood scrap, and right now that's it. So let's just recycle that. In the working queue, you can manage what you're building. Yes. Um, this is how long it would take to uh, finish making all those items. Okay. These are what you might get from recycling the selected items. Right. This is your fuel meter. You can check how much fuel you have to, and add more if you need to, right? When you add fuel, you can choose what kind of fuel you want to use. Some kinds of fuel last longer than others, right? All right. Thank you very much. You go ahead and start doing that. I need to get to bed because I kind of pushed, my, pushed myself too far. All right. And let's go to sleep. Good night. Good night.